what really matters when it comes to technology, it's really the ability not just to progress one single technology and have skills in this technology, but actually to combine many technologies further. This is really the question we've been trying to tackle within this U7 Plus work group. How can we make sure that all our students have the necessary toolbox in order to produce meaningful technologies and meaningful innovation? And this is something that actually at Ecole Polytechnique we've of course been doing for a while and you know we have programs that are related to these kind of issues. Um, but definitely this was something we needed to take further in a worldwide context. Everywhere in the world that you need to foster multidisciplinary skills. Um, the issue is how to do so. The idea is basically that students from various universities across the globe, in Europe, in uh, America and also in Africa are working together to identify local challenges and see how they can, with the help of um, academics and support staff, how can they actually find within their institution and across the U7 Plus network the skills that are needed to solve the problems they are trying to tackle. I'm here from the University of Ottawa, representing our team from Canada. So the things I liked the most about it was interacting with the four universities that came here uh, for the competition. So it's University of Ottawa, so our team, uh, Ashesi University from Ghana, um, Northwest University from Chicago, and also Ecole Polytechnique, so our hosts. And so meeting everyone from those those uh, those schools and they're learning about their projects and what they're they're finding in their communities that they really want to focus on uh, based on the sustainability goals of the United Nations um, really like just inspired us and gave us this like motivation to to keep working on our own projects and learn from what other countries are struggling that we had no idea and so it's been an incredible experience. Our team from Ecopo Technique will work in our challenge to tackle food insecurity in Canada by means of a root cellar, which is a form of sustainable food storage. I think it was a great opportunity to uh, work with in the university with people from different courses, different, different backgrounds, different disciplines. Uh, to work together to solve a real life problem. Um, it's been a wonderful experience, the U7 Plus Student Challenge, and um, it's brought a lot of us together from different schools. That was a very lovely experience. I've never <laughs> met people from other countries like in a very comfortable space. It felt so comfortable. We were working together. We had some team challenges and all that. The U7 Plus Student Challenge made me understand that each country has their own problem and and trying to find sustainable ways of solving these problems. We worked on illegal mining, which is a prominent issue in our country, and other um, teams also did very various um, projects about food security. And that was lovely. Listening to their problems and solutions have been really inspiring and just uh, really opens the door and your mind to focusing on other issues in your community as well. And you bring that back home to your universities and you share that with your family, friends, and you just expand that collective consciousness of all these issues and um, really cultivates maybe ideas and solutions. Hi everyone, we are Project Med from Northwestern University. We focus on exposing high school students to the breadth of opportunities in the healthcare field. In order to better align ourselves with the U7 Plus Challenge, we mainly wanted to focus on three factors. So first off were the actual UN SDGs. To do this, we talked mainly about education, productive work, and bridging different inequalities, especially in healthcare education. And number two was talking about technology. Specifically with our launch database, we wanted to utilize the technology to actually bring access to these opportunities. And last but not least is sustainability. So using technology, we really want to be able to engage the local communities that we work with and ensure that the impact is there for years to come. And one of the most valuable things that we were able to gain from developing this project and working with the U7 Plus Student Challenge was the diversity of perspectives that we were able to gain from interacting and talking to the different universities that participated. And without that, then thank you so much to Ecole Polytechnique and U7 Plus for organizing this event and giving us this amazing opportunity.